Shonda Ross, Dr. Nada Fadol, and Dr. Jasmine Marslin from Nebraska Medicine have plenty in common, like the fact that they all wanted to go into the health care field since they were little girls. What brought me into medicine was my mother. Um, as a child, I always seen her ill, and we were back and forth at the hospital. I learned at an early age how to do her blood sugar checks, and when I and then learned when I would need to call 911 in case things got really bad. Dr. Fadol, an infectious disease expert, wanted to make a difference in her home country's HIV epidemic. In Sudan, most people die because of infections and endemic diseases. And by the time I came here and started doing my training, HIV was actually starting to pick up in East Africa. So that really kind of strengthened my passion in infectious disease and HIV. And Dr. Marslin, originally from Dominica, wanted to be like her childhood doctor. But even their long desire to become healthcare professionals never prepared them for the COVID-19 pandemic. As, as healthcare professionals, you know, we're prepared for treating our patients, we're prepared for emergency situations, but I don't know that there is anything in nursing school, med medical school, any sort of health professional school that really kind of spells out how to deal with a pandemic. You're building the plane as you're flying it, and that's really kind of felt how we were doing things from one day to another, is that you are doing this and then things change rapidly and then you have to adapt. So I think what we discovered in ourselves this past year is that we're very resilient, more than we actually imagined. They say as difficult as the pandemic has been, what's been extra hard on them has been witnessing people who look like them dying at rates proportionately higher than other populations. COVID just brought up these inequities to the surface, but they've been happening way, way long before COVID. And I guess if anything we take out of this is that we really shouldn't wait for a disaster or a pandemic to happen to realize that our people do not have access. There are people who don't have access to internet, so they can't log on to sign up for the notification for when they can get their vaccine. There are people who don't have um, uh, any transportation, and when you try to log on to, to access a vaccine, there isn't a, a vaccine center in 20 miles. And all of these things play into um, the reasons why we're seeing low vaccine uptake. The vaccines were studied. That's why these three heroes have done informational Facebook lives, participated in community forums, and served as a COVID-19 and vaccine resource specifically for black communities. Being a black role model in the community is another reason I take pride in being a nurse. Um, I am. My family and I are very popular in North Omaha. So um, a lot of people celebrated with me when I got my nursing degree and when I obtained my master's degree, the same. So people really look to you in the community to see, well, what do you think about that? Do you think I should take the vaccine? Is the COVID real? There's a sense of responsibility, um, not, not to save the world, but to make sure that our world is spoken for. They strive to also be visible to the youth so they too can see themselves becoming doctors in the future. It makes me want to work even harder to make sure that my face is out there, that I am out there so that the kids who are maybe dreaming uh, and haven't had their dreams dashed away yet can see me and others like me and think, look at them, I can be like them and never have to worry about that not being a possibility. A possibility all three are now living. I'm very proud that I have a family. I, was, I grew up in Hilltop Projects here in Omaha, Nebraska, and I sat on that stoop many a times wondering, what is my life going to be like? And I look at my surroundings and I say, I don't want it to be like this. And my mother and my grandparents always taught me, it doesn't have to be. Uh, so this is, did, did not come easy. This came at a cost to a lot of people in their lives, in their opportunities, in their history. So I'm, I'm grateful for all of that.